How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another tips and tricks video for Animal Crossing New Horizons. This video is the ultimate guide on how to plant flowers and get those super rare hybrid flowers to show up in your town. Like this very awesome pink tulip over here. So thanks so much for watching. Now we're going to divide this video with the basics of how to get yourself started and then we're going to go into exactly how the hybrids work. So if you guys already know the basics of planting and everything like that, awesome. But I'm going to make it a course so that you guys are familiar. Everyone there. So the very first thing you're going to need is two different tools. As you guys can see, you're going to need a shovel and you'll need a watering can. A shovel is gotten from Blathers. If you've donated all of your fish and stuff like that to Tom Nook, you open up the museum, you'll be able to get a shovel there. The watering can is available at Timmy and Tommy's. So make sure that you guys head on over there. And while we're over to Timmy and Tommy's, we might as well buy a couple more things. I'll show you guys what's up. So go inside, nooks, cranny, whatever available section you have. I don't know if it gets bigger or smaller, whatever. Uh, head on over and you guys should be able to purchase a lot more things. Now, inside this little cupboard is what you're going to need. Uh, there's going to be some DIY recipes for some more tools inside here. You can get the, uh, the flowering can recipe inside here. Yeah, the flimsy one, you can absolutely get this recipe for. And then one of the other things that you do want to take a look at is the additional flowers that they sell for bells. You get some highest you can get some uh, tulips, you get some wind flowers, and then of course it changes every single day. So definitely take a look at that. I've only seen those three flowers in the game, so I don't know when Jacob's Ladder or Roses come into play. Maybe once the Nookington's shop like opens up, you'll have access to even more of them. But again, this is going to be a beginner's guide. Now, if you guys have noticed that on the top portion of your map, there's going to be tons and tons of different regular windflowers available that you can easily pick up and grab along the way, and you can do a little bit of testing of them to see what kind of hybrids you can get. So now that you guys have access to a basic shovel and a basic watering can, um, and if you're far enough in the game that you have the town hall, I want you guys to head on over here and get the recipe inside the ABD for the better shovels and the better tools. So simply put, head on over there, go over, and uh, you're gonna be all set with access in the ABD for all of that fun stuff. So anyway, uh, not here to talk about Tom Nook or my loan, but this is exactly where you're going to get the extra tools from, and I'll show you that right now. So that's this, once per day, you get bonus miles, etc. Jump inside here, go to redeem Nook miles, and once you have Nook, Nook miles, there's going to be some recipes for um, some different tools. Now, I've already done it, so it's not gonna print it out again, but you're gonna be able to find the recipes here for the better sets of tools. Now, the reason why I keep on promoting the better sets of tools is because you really wanna focus on getting the regular watering can. The regular watering can is able to spray in more than just one singular square. So if you want hybrid flowers to be a thing that you do every single day, you're definitely gonna want that, uh, that watering can. So anyway, uh, as you guys can see over here, the recipes are as follows. I'll show you guys this. Uh, so we're gonna craft. We're gonna come over to the shovel, which is the first one that I talked to you guys about. You're gonna need five hardwood, and then moving on with the flimsy shovel in, in hand, you're going to need one iron nugget. So five hardwood, one iron nugget gets you the good shovel. Likewise, with the flimsy watering can, five softwood gives you the flimsy one. And if you want the good one, you're gonna need the exact same thing, another iron nugget for it. So. Now, ladies and gents, you have all the tools available. I told you guys how to get them. Now let's start talking about how hybrids work in the game. Now, I was able to successfully breed three different hybrid flowers in the game. You guys can see over here, we have the pink hyacinths, and we do have my very cool pink tulip that I made not too long ago. Now you'll notice right over here, I've got a couple different areas that I'm using the breeding grounds for. This is your prime example. It's the easiest example that you guys can use. Now, if you do it in a diagonal pattern, meaning like a little checker um, kind of a set, or if you think about like a, a five on a little dice, you guys can see it that way. So whenever there's an open spot, uh, I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, right over here is going to be an open spot. Actually, I can move up a little bit. This is our open spot here. One open spot there. You can see that there's an open spot right over here. And there's gonna be one over here. And you guys get the point, right? All of those open spots are gonna be potentials where hybrids can eventually show up. Pretty cool, right? So as long as you guys have these guys next to each other, you're going to get hybrids, but you have to water them too. So you wanna think of it as this way. So this white one, 
is only touching another white one. So that means that these spaces that are completely around it over here can potentially be a white plus a white hybrid, which could potentially just be a regular old white or maybe something that we haven't seen before. So that's why I kind of left it like that. Now this spot over here, this white is also touching this red, whereas it's also touching this red, and it's also touching these whites. So the potentials for you to get a pink one of these could potentially land red over here, it could land over here, it could land over here, it can land into any one of these empty spots, as you guys can see. So remember again, the rule is, as long as these two are touching each other, they don't have to be directly next to, you can go on a diagonal and it'll absolutely work. So that's exactly your example there. So with the regular watering can, you can stand in your empty spot. And as you guys can see, it does a sweeping motion that hits about, what, five, five spots, six spots, if you take a look at it. And when you notice that your flowers are shiny or sparkling, that means that they're ready to produce offspring potentially on the next day. So... That's exactly how that's gonna work. We take a look over here, uh, say hi to Mr. Rossetti, and you guys can see some other things that are happening on board. This is uh, what I've seen, and I have not touched anything since yesterday. As you guys can see, oranges plus oranges nets a potential orange right over here. So this little guy that I'm standing on right here is a potential new flower. It's just gonna take another day in order to grow to bloom. Right over here, not really sure what this is going to be. This can potentially be, I don't even know, a, a pink one somehow? I have no clue how that possibly happened. But maybe that's how the little red ones look before they, uh, before they bloom. And I have a white one over here that I need to find another white one for this spot. So super easy, right? So if you're looking at transplanting some, uh, like let's say for example over here, uh, this, these are going to be my tulips, and you guys can see that there is so many different wildlife that are attracted to flowers. You've got this ladybug over here, you've got some other different butterflies, you've got a lot of things that are on board. So, uh, what happened over here was, as you guys can see, this red one somehow bred with this white one, and was able to produce an offspring right over here. So this is our hybrid, which is this pink one. So what I'm going to do with the pink one, if I want to transplant it, or at least hold on to it, I can hold on to my shovel, and I can absolutely dig it up, and it's going to be in my inventory. You guys can see it right over here, pink tulip plant. And if I wanna put it anywhere I want, uh, like let's say I want to potentially breed a pink one with these two red ones, right? If I wanna do that, I would just, uh, I don't even have to dig, you don't even have to dig, you just stand right over here, and then click on plant, and you're all set. So now, I don't know what's gonna happen. A pink one is going to breed with a potential red one and another potential red one for any of these empty spots right over this way. And uh, pause the tutorial for a second because I gotta grab this. It's like you get a phone call while you're recording something. And you say, yo, don't call me right now. Just, let's go, stop. Anyway, so that's exactly how I got these pink ones right over here. These pink ones uh, came on board simply by doing this entire field out of the way, I'm sorry. This entire field and the pink ones showed up right over here on this side and I was really, really excited for it. So that's exactly how you're going to breed all of your different flowers. Now you can indeed clump them together and there's really nothing wrong with clumping these guys together. As you guys can see here, I'm gonna stand on board. We're going to water every single one of these. And yeah, I was able to do a little diagonal checker pattern with these red and white ones and then a pink one just randomly showed up. But if you want the maximize odds for all of your different flowers to come on board, then you're gonna need to do the little uh, diagonal patterns with some spaces in between them. So now that that one bred an extra white one, I can come over here and I can put my white one in here in hopes of making even more pink ones to come out. And as you guys can see over here, you can't really crossbreed species of different plants as I was just kind of testing and I haven't seen anything come through. Or maybe there is, I don't know. That would be interesting if you could crossbreed species. I mean, that would be a, an animal crossing first. And I wouldn't put it past the developers to do something like that, right? Anyway, so there's a lot of empty space in the northern parts of everyone's towns, right? Did you guys actually take the time to excavate it all? To get rid of all the weeds? If you did, good on you. As of right now, these are all the extra stray uh, wildflowers that I had in my town. So what I did was I just made a little diagonal pattern over here and who knows, maybe after a couple days I can indeed collect some hybrid pink ones. So I like it. It's a cool thing. It's just one extra thing to do now that you're just kind of playing Animal Crossing, right? Like what else is there to do? I'm done collecting bells, that's for sure. 
wink wink nudge nudge so as you guys can see over here just make it a point to if you do have a little garden of wildflowers or tulips or whatever you have just make sure that you make it a point to actually water them i don't believe that the flowers actually die in this game I, at least i haven't seen you can run over flowers if you really want to but they'll always grow back and as you guys can see over here your watering can can indeed break away so ladies and gents that's going to be it thanks so much for watching i hope you guys learned a little bit more about hybrid flower breeding i can't wait to find out what colors you guys can come up with so let me know in the comments if you guys come up with anything really awesome i'm very very curious the yellow tulips are interesting i think that yellow and red could potentially make an orange i haven't confirmed it yet um and maybe a, an orange and white wildflower can make something i don't know I'm looking forward to all of your hybrids in the comment section below. Let me know what you came up with. Feel free to share some pictures at Adam Dollar Nation right over here, and we'll go from there. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this video tutorial did help you out with learning everything you know about hybrids. Now, hybrids are definitely going to be something that you cannot buy with bells. Now that bells are so easily accessible in the game, definitely think that the trading power for a specific hybrid plant goes way higher than anything that you could purchase with those. So anyway... So subscribe for even more tips and tricks tutorial videos. Make sure you guys are on board with that. Join to become a member. You guys can hang out in our Discord where we have tons of channels and lots of people constantly trading and talking about Animal Crossing every single day. So make sure you're on board with that. But other than that, looking forward to reading all of your comments. Take care, and we'll see you on the next tutorial video. See ya.